Hello, parents and guardians. Welcome to virtual back to school night. I'm Miss Santos, one of the seventh grade life science teachers. If you ever need to contact me, my information is up here, my email, phone number and extension. So today I'm going to go through the class uh, expectations, how it's structured uh, by going through this syllabus, Google Classroom and a little bit of our class website. So life science is just that. We're going to cover the basics of, of life. So everything from like the inner workings of cells to complex interactions between or within ecosystems. This course, this class is very interesting and could be very, very challenging. This class is also designed to be active. So the presence and participation of students are very important. Here are my core beliefs. I believe that every student is an amazing and unique individual with a unique perspective and voice to contribute to class. Every student has the right to be respected. Every student has the right to learn in a safe and caring environment and that Learning environment should be filled with a community of learners who support one another and collaborate towards success. My expectation is that students are showing up to class on time and they are prepared with their Google Classroom in front of them and their assignments ready to go. There should be a comma right there. Students are expected to complete work regularly um, based on their assignments. Here are the, here's what their grade will be composed of. So 30% of their grade will be based on tests, 20% based on quizzes, 30% based on assignments, and 20% based on their work with their digital interactive science notebook. I don't want you to be overwhelmed with a digital interactive science notebook. Some of you have seen it and you're like, this is a lot of slides. Um, the reason it's a lot of slides is because it's for the whole year. And so naturally, there's going to be quite a bit there, but I don't assign that many slides uh, at a time. Students will receive their grades three times during the year. Their um, homework quality does count. Uh, at this point, late work, I'm accepting late work. I understand that it's quite a transition between sixth grade and seventh grade. Students are going from about three, maybe four teachers to now six teachers. We're you know, doing distance learning and that's a transition for them. And so I wanna be understanding of that. Um, at this point, students can turn in work until one week before the unit ends. After the first trimester, they can still turn in work up until one week before the unit ends, but. It, but next trimester, any sort of late work will be marked 20% off. So for example, if something is worth 100 points, the most a student can get is 75 points. So I want them to learn how to do their best to complete assignments on time. Tests will cover material that we have in our classwork slides, our digital interactive science notebook, and maybe information that we learned from Gizmos. Students will always have the opportunity to correct a failing test or quiz to scores um, that result in a passing grade through quiz corrections or test corrections. If students are absent for any sort of reason, they can turn in missed work up to the amount of, they, up to the amount of days they were absent uh, after returning to class. So for example, if a student was absent for two days, they will have two days to make up the work after they come back to class. It's their responsibility to find out what work needs to be made up. Uh, this is available online through Google Classroom. This is available on our you know, lesson plans on our class website and Google Classroom. Um, and they can always email me as well. I want students to learn and it's only fair that um, they are presenting work that is uniquely their own. So if I see any sort of cheating or work that is not theirs, I will give that student a zero on their, you know, exam, quiz, lab, etc. And this includes copying someone else's work. So some advice for success. Come to class with your homework ready to turn in. 
ask questions all of the time. I'm more than happy to help. The classes I notice that have students who, who ask questions, I, I find that the other students benefit from it because they too are learning. Um, and another piece of advice is don't wait the night before the test. Uh, before uh, you say, you know, I'm lost, I don't get it. At that point, it's a little too late. So um, students should be proactive in their education. If something is tricky to them, they can reach out for support. There are several ways to reach out for support. So they can email me and say, I'm interested in going to homework support. Um, they can email me in the afternoons during our office hours. I'm always on email and replying back to students. Another option is after 30 minutes of class, I let the students go and, and work on their, their classwork independently. Some students um, decide to stay. I invite everyone to stay if they want, just um, to work on their classwork. Sometimes they, they like working while having, you know, the, the ability to just ask the teacher or other classmates their thoughts on, on classwork. So that is an option for them if they want to do that. Um, revisit your homework and notes before your quizzes. Check Aries every week to keep track of your current grade in the class. And if you need extra help, again, just ask. Um, we'll find a way, but I challenge you guys to, to ask for help. I'll be looking to and, and inviting you to homework support um, if I think that you could benefit from it, but I encourage you to, to ask. So I'm using period six life sciences Google Classroom as an example. So the stream has our links to um, our Zoom meetings. Up here at the top, it tells the students when those meetings are. By clicking on classwork, they'll find the classwork for, uh, that they have due based on the week that they're in. Up here, again, here's the Zoom link, their daily schedule, uh, the link to the class website. Their digital interactive notebooks can be accessed through here. And again, the topics are sectioned off by week. Extra resources include another link to the class website, daily lesson plans, and keyboard shortcuts, which I found that some of them benefited from. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that students have this to do tab on the left hand side. And so if they click on their to do, they can see what work was assigned for all of their classes, any work that's missing and work that they've finished. So if your student needs help, uh, you know, figuring out what, what's happening, what, what work they need to make up, um, that to do section is a great place. Again, you can click here and then they can scroll to the to do. So here's a snippet of our class website. These are all clickable up here. They need to go to Aries, Reading Plus, et cetera, Parent Square. And so every page has a table of contents that gives you a gist of what is on that page. I'm going to click on home and hover over it, click on about me. So a little bit about myself is that I am a Filipino American born in the Philippines and raised in California. I lived in Los Angeles before moving to Hayward, San Jose and Santa Cruz. I have a bachelor's of science in human biology and a master's of arts in education um, and a California teaching credential all from the University of California, Santa Cruz. I enjoy spending time with my loved ones and being outdoors for swimming, cycling, running, and hiking. And I'm excited to be at Weaver and look forward to one day meeting you all in person. But I've been, I've been enjoying getting to know the students online as well. Um, in the past, I've taught elementary, middle, and high school grades in Santa Clara County and Santa Cruz County. And I look forward to settling down in Merced County. My uh, fiance, he went to high school right down the street at Golden Valley. So I'm here. So my teaching philosophy is to strive to bring my best self for my students and to recognize that each student has his or her unique needs. I have high expectations for my students and believe that everyone can learn. 
engaging students as active learners who construct their knowledge based on prior and or relevant experiences and contexts will support them as they collaborate, practice sense making, and think critically about the world around them. I'll let you browse through these photos, but there are photos there if you want to look through them. Um, apart from that, I look forward to working with your student throughout the year. And please just reach out if you ever need anything. Have a good one.